Let's let's okay. talk about Oklahoma and West Virginia. Sixteen to thirteen, the Sooners get the W. And brother, there were chants of "We want Caleb" in the stands Hell last night. Yeah, that was insane, right? I'm yeah, I'm a little shocked at it. But then again, like if if I had been hyped up for a national championship all season, and, and I a know, Heisman. yeah, and the and the Heisman. And I'm getting the production out of Spencer Rattler that I'm getting, which is last night again. The numbers somehow Lincoln Riley finds a way to make his numbers look good. Spencer Rattlers finds a way to make them look good. 26 out of 36, 256 yards, one touchdown, one interception, average 7.1 yards per completion, which is not great. They don't take a lot of shots down the field because he's not super effective throwing the ball down the field. A stat that I brought up on the Bet US show: yard or passes that go. More than 20 yards down the field, Spencer Rattler had three interceptions and three... No, sorry, only three touchdowns. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, I'm remembering this incorrectly. He had three completions on the season that were more than 20 yards. He also had three turnover-worthy plays down the field. That's it. Like, he, he cannot throw the ball down the field. He's not accurate enough with the ball to be able to get it down there and if you are supposed to win a Heisman, if you are in Lincoln Riley's offense, you got to be able to do more with the football than what he's been able to do. And they weren't able to run the ball last night. They had 28 carries for 57 yards against West Virginia. West Virginia wasn't able to run it either. Let's not get crazy. 29 carries, 47 yards for them. But, but that West Virginia team is not very good. No, they're not great. Jared Dagey should never be in a ball game with Spencer Rattler. It shouldn't happen. And yet here we are. Like this is this is a disaster for Oklahoma right now. They haven't lost a game and and a lot of that has to do with the teams that they have played. But they have got problems across the board. They better they better bu- they better buckle the hell up this weekend. I don't even know who are they playing this weekend. They're going to they're going to Manhattan, Kansas. Oh, they're going to Kansas State. I I tell you that's another team. We're not going to talk about the Kansas State Oklahoma State game, but Kansas State got quarterback problems. They they got well, all kind of problems. I, so. I think Kansas State was looking at, looking ahead to this week. It's entirely possible. I mean, they have one two straight. So uh, big out said it's hard being a Mountaineer fan. Yeah, I could I could see that. I mean, I, it's been a long time since they were really good. Look, you got a good coach, Neil Brown. I trust Neil Brown to be able to get that thing working. You think? Do you think recruiting in West Virginia has just become that much more difficult? I think it is more difficult for him to recruit at West Virginia than it was for him to recruit at Troy. A hundred percent. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I agree. That's just because there's so much talent down the deep south. You're in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia country. When he's in, you, he's you in Troy, he's he's down next to the coast. I mean, he's like, there's all, you You can walk outside well, and find somebody that runs a 4-4. <laughs> that, but that's what I'm saying. There's yeah. just so much talent that, that the big schools just can't lop them all up. So many two and three stars that would be four stars if they went to bigger high schools, but people can't find them because yeah. they're just playing in podunk nowhere. Yes. No, you, you ain't wrong about that. Uh, by the way, we have got, uh, looks like over 30 people watching live right now. You guys do us a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button for us and make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube. The numbers have been just absolutely <laughs> massive, and we appreciate you guys for that. Uh, I try and say it every show, but yeah, definitely make sure and knock that out. Uh, Big Ounce said, damn, now that's a low blow. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're not trying to be a low blow, but no. that's just... We, we try and be as real as possible. It's just really... What, what is the recruiting ground around there that, that Ohio State and Penn State and these other big boy schools aren't coming and lopping them up? Not that there's not great talent coming from your area, but there's not such a plethora of it that the big boys just aren't coming in and getting all the good guys and getting them out of there. Yeah, yeah. There are too many great players in the deep South that nobody's ever heard of before. So it's real easy for these Troy's Louisiana's UAB's, you know, Southern Miss, these other small schools to come in and just take the scraps and yep. damn, these scraps are pretty fucking good. Big Al said, maybe he used to take some trips back down South. I, I would say that probably would try to recruit. Well, and no, he, he, is. Where he was. He's trying that. The problem is Get why would you, leave. yeah. Why would you leave down there and go play at West Virginia when you can go play for Louisiana. AB, so so that's know, the issue is the kids down here don't – people from West Virginia have a lot of pride in, 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 in being from there in their school. Kids down here, they don't have that. They don't, they don't care. Like it's just 
they're no different than all the other schools that they've never been to and never even thought of going to. So I think that is a hard, hard sell. And it's going to uh, get Matt harder. Miller asked, said, does Texas have the firepower? Guess we'll see next week. Look, Texas offense looked really good last two weeks. Uh, um, I've, I've got that for us to discuss here in just a little bit. Okay, so, come on. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll talk about Texas. Don't, don't worry about that. Right. Uh, Oklahoma, by the way, Kansas State, Texas, TCU in the next three weeks. I think they can lose two of those games. I think so, too. I, I think they're going to lose two of those games, by the way. I agree with you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.